So, so yeah, it was me, Les, and David San Martino in the car. And I can't remember the reason, but these guys came right to my front door and they picked me up. So I, I, you know, Les opens up the trunk. I put my stuff in the trunk and David's in the back seat, like driving Miss Daisy. So I sit in the front. So I'm in the front seat. I reach back, shake David's hand, shake Les's hand. How you guys doing? Les takes off. He's driving. I'm, I'm sitting and he's going. And I'm like, what's up with that? So I see David in the back. I look back, I go, uh, how you doing, David? Duh, bullshit. I said, what's wrong? He goes, Neidhart went over last night, but used my finish. I said, so what? What do you mean, so what? You can't use another guy's finish. I go, David, you're, you're Bruno San Martino's kid. Big deal, he goes. He goes, he didn't show me anything. Larry Zabisco taught me how to work. He goes, my father never showed me a damn thing. Okay. I was kind of wondering why you dropped that Bruno San Martino Jr. gig. I guess that's, that's why he did. I go, what are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to talk to Vince. We get to Poughkeepsie. Les and I drop our bags, you know, start saying hello to everybody. He makes a beeline to Vince. Hands are flying. You know. David picks up his bag, walks by Les and I, and he goes, you take care of yourself, guys. Take care. Never saw him again. Yeah, it's too bad because if, if he had had a better attitude, he probably could have made a lot more money. I don't know what he did as, as his day job, though. Supposedly, he wants unheard of amounts of money for shoot interviews. I, I don't know, Hannibal. Well, the only thing I could tell you is, is this: is he he, you know, we were in the Hartford Civic Center right one time. I didn't sell it. I didn't sell it. We were in the bathroom, and in the Hartford Civic Center, there's the dressing room. You walk out of the dressing room, walk three feet, and there was the the men's room. So, I was in there, and I said, "Hey, David, I like that forearm." Uh, it was a backbreaker or a bear hug. Oh, David's was a power slam. That David's finish was a power slam. Um, so I said, I really like that forearm um, that you throw. I go, can you, can you teach me how to throw it? He goes, oh, yeah, sure. Hannibal, let me tell you something. When I tell you he rang my bell, he rang my, that bathroom was spinning, and I just I just stood back up because I was leaned over and I stood up and I looked him dead in the face and I go, it's pretty good. I'll remember that. He goes, good. And then he left. And then I went to a stall and just sat down, man, and just tried to get my bearings because, uh, you know, it's 2022. So this, this comment, this statement isn't appropriate for the times, but when you got your bell rung in the ring, um, you know, usually hitting your head, you know, you'll come back and um, the guy you were working with will look at you and go, you're on Queer Street for a couple seconds there. Um, and that that means nothing toward any kind of sexual. That, that just means that you just lost your bearings. Um, but he, he put me there and I never forgot that. I'm like, man, that's a miserable thing to do.